Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here and I'm back at this park. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set a lure for myself today and see what I can catch. Um, I tried to do this earlier in a different location, but for some reason that location just doesn't like me. Um, and it kept log uh, logging me out. So, what we're going to do to set a lure, all you have to do is, and also if you can notice, I have an egg. I've already wasted 10 minutes of it, so hopefully the next 20 minutes will go really well. So, to set a lure, all you have to do is tap on it. We're going to collect stuff in here first. Okay, cool. And then when you tap on it, see like right here that, that little white dot on top? You tap that white dot, and um, see, it can have a Pokestop module installed. So what do we do? We tap on the module, and then we tap on it again. And uh, there you go, that's it. That's how you set a lure module. Now, um, everything you do here, uh, basically just hanging out, you know, you know, spending your time here, um, you're going to get approximately about, well, it's, it, it varies. Sometimes I get uh, Pokemon every five seconds. Sometimes I get one every, I don't know, 30 seconds. Uh, it's crazy. I mean, you get a really wide variety of Pokemon. No, so, and I am at a playground here right now. So we're going to do this. Awesome. Oh, wow. I really thought I had that one. Now, I have been having some problems uh, today with my phone. I don't know why, but for some reason, ever since... Oh, wow. Oh, come on. Ever since I went to that place that I was at previously, this is what's happening to me. Uh, my phone starts lagging and stopping. It gets really, really hot. And then all of a sudden, I I can't catch any more Pokemon. It just kind of uh, it just stops on me. I think the other place I was at, there were too many Pokestops activated. Um, I'll probably upload that video anyway. And there were several Pokestops up there. Um, so there we go. We got ourselves a Pokemon. Another Pidgey. Now we're just gonna sit here and uh, chill out. Um, there's another Pokestop up there. So what I might do is I might just walk back and forth between them. Um, and see what happens. Um, see, like over, do you see over there? See in the distance over there, those four spots there, all with, um, all with, uh, lures. Okay, actually, you know what? We might even be able to see one. Can we tap this one? Yeah, look at this one. And then if we tap here, check it out. Is it going to show it to me? Uh, there it goes. Check it out. Ch see, look at that. DUJ2. So that's where I was before. I was up there before. Uh, I had uh, I set two of those modules that are the, those um, two of the things that are up there of the lures. Uh, but then my I don't know I guess maybe just too much going on around there. Uh, my phone could have handled it or something was going on. Um, so it it wasn't working for me. So that's why I came over here. Uh, and hopefully we're gonna get a lot more. I think I may even put a module over there. Actually not today. Um, next time I'll put a module over. You know what? Why not? You know what? Why not? We're gonna go put a module over there. Uh, and then we're just going to pretty much just stand. Let's see if we can stand between two, both of them. If we can stand between both of them and still get, uh, still activate both of the circles, we're going to be golden then. Let's see if we can do this. Although I kind of don't want to do that because what if I caused the same problem I had before and I kind of just messed myself up. Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll try it out. Let's see. Walking over here, walking over here. Let's see, let's stop for a second, see what happens. Oh, so close. And yet so far. Let's see. Will this take it? Oh, I'm so close to activating the other one. <gasps> Can I do it? Can I do it? Let's see. No. I don't think it'll do it. I think the second I get to the other one, the other one's going to inactivate. Let's see. Well, we got a Paris that came up over there. So let's get the Paris first. Right. Awesome. The curveball is really good, but the problem with the curveball is that um, you don't always get the good, the nice, the great, or the excellent bonus. Uh, just because it's just okay. Well, there we go. Okay. Can I? I can get this guy. Cool. 
Can I still activate this one? Is it too far? Oh, it's too far away. All right, well, you know what? We're just gonna stick with one for today. Um, next time, I might just activate both of them and then just walk back and forth between both of them um, and see what happens. Uh, because even if you don't, even if you're not exactly in near the circle or in the circle, you can still get the, um, you can still see them pop up. Anyway, so we're gonna walk over here and then I'll just show you guys if we get anything today. Okay guys, so it's been about 40 seconds now and um, got ourselves another zoo back, the vein of my existence again. Oh, that was a great curveball, guys. Wow. I'm getting better if I do say so myself. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, let's see. Really quick, I want to show you guys something. Um, so again, like we were talking today... If you guys go in the shop, that's where you're going to have... Uh, I didn't show you guys this. Actually, this was in a different video, which I don't know if it's going to work or not. But anyway, we'll go over again. Uh, lucky Eggs. This is where you get the Lucky Eggs. And Lucky Eggs are Lucky Eggs filled with happiness, earns double experience for 30 minutes, and here are the lure modules. Uh, and again, the lure modules differ. Sometimes you'll get... Um, you'll get... I mean, you'll get Pokemon on top of Pokemon. And I think it also really depends on who is in the area um if you've got multiple trainers in one area it feels like you get more and more um i'm really really tempted to go back up there again but unfortunately i know that it's not going to work i don't know if it's just too many uh locations all stacked up on top of each other i don't know if it's just my internet service isn't very good there but it just doesn't work for me up there. okay so we're gonna hang around here for another uh 15 minutes or so see what else we can get and um oh next time we're gonna take pay close attention uh to the experience we get from these um from these pokemon all right all right guys so here we go um now the last uh wild abra that i had um got away from me but he was like a level 200 and something so i'm hoping this one doesn't get away i uh, sorry he had a cp of like 2200 or something so, we're probably going to catch this one. He only had a 20-something CP. Which, uh, these are great because you can just send them off to Professor Willow. Uh, you know what? We'll say, okay, so check it out. Pokemon caught 200 experience. So, it just pretty much doubles the experience you get. Now, to send off a Pokemon, I'll show you guys this really quick as well. Scroll all the way to the bottom and see where it says transfer. Now, it's going to show you where you caught it. But if you see transfer, you hit transfer here. And you hit yes. And what's going to happen is you're going to transfer it over to Professor Willow. And you're going to get a candy in exchange too, which is pretty awesome actually. Um, so that's a good way to stock up on candies. And as we know, that's the best way that, well, that's the only way right now. Uh, you need the, what is that called? Um, what's that stuff called? <laughs> the uh, dust? Yeah, stardust. Stardust and candies are how you upgrade, uh, evolve your Pokemon. So uh, there you go, guys. So I'm just going to hang around here for a little while longer, see if I can get anything else. Uh, and then that should be today's Pokevlog. And it seems like maybe the server has gone down on me. So we're going to reset this and hopefully come back and see if we catch anything else that's really awesome. Okay, guys. So continuing here, this is like the, what, fifth, sixth Pokemon that I've gotten. Um, now I'm going to... Well, I'm going to change this here uh, because I am at a playground and there are some little kids around and I don't want to record them. So, here we go. Awesome, I got a nice. So, I have noticed though that if you aim for their feet, uh, not their heads, you tend to get that bonus a little bit. And wow, come on, man. Okay, that was a bad throw. <laughs> oh, come on, that was a horrible throw. Come on, come on. You're a good one, actually. You're a really good one. And let's see if he stays with me. Oh, come on. That was a great curveball, man. Okay. So I'm aiming a little too low, I feel. Oh, he jumped that one. Come on, man. Okay. 
Apparently I'm not aiming far enough, I think. Alright, so I am just wasting a bunch of Pokeballs here. There we go, I just got a great. Okay, so I just got a great. Uh, and again, just try and aim more for their feet and not their head. I was doing that for the longest time, trying to aim for their head. Um, and uh, the feet, if you aim for the feet, I think you got a better chance. And again, uh, double the experience here because I still have. Do I still have my egg? Wait, I think I still have my egg. Yes, I still have my egg. So I did get double the experience. Um, that was a really good Growlithe, actually over 200 on that one that was really great all right so again i still have about six more minutes worth of experience here let's see how long this module has left uh this module has it can't oh it doesn't show you how long it has maybe i have about 15 minutes left on this module so i think that might be good but anyway i'll probably hang around here until the module runs away uh runs out and uh i'll see see you guys if we see it get see any more pokemon All right, guys, so the next thing I want to talk about was uh, when you're at a lure module, you don't always attract the Pokemon that are nearby. Actually, it seems to be that, if I'm going to be perfectly honest, I don't remember getting any Pokemon um, that are on the nearby list. Most of the times, you just get, uh, it's, just, it's just random, to be honest. Uh, actually, today, I'm really sad that my phone kind of crashed for a second there because there was a Blastoise uh, that appeared in that other location. Um, so that was a little disappointing. Okay, let's see if we can get this Clefairy and... Um, and it looks good. All right, cool. So I still, I think I still have a tiny bit of... Yep, I still have double experience going. Um, that double experience really does help. And I'm going to leave it here. But the last tip I'm going to give you guys is be careful. Um, I know that a lot of people love getting Eevees and certain Pokemon, but I guess the biggest thing I can say today is, the biggest tip I can give today is be careful what Pokemon you catch. Um, because you only have a certain number of Pokemon that you can catch before your level gets too high. Now, of course, if you're just trying to rush and get to a really high level, I met someone today with a level 28. Um, so if you, if you want to get to their level and start catching, you know, like, much higher type Pokemon uh, that are starting at like 800 or not a thousand you know CP um, you might want to just try and just go out there put up a module in a, mo a, a location like that one over there that I really wish I could go back to look at that place up there uh, if you go up to a location over like that and you just um, uh, you just you know hang out and catch you know tons of Pokemon and rank up your level really really fast then yeah go for it you know but if you want to go for a certain type of pokemon and you want to get a lot of a certain type of candy you might want to start ignoring other pokemon and uh, just focus on the ones you want now it will take you longer to rank up but you may end up with much stronger pokemon of a certain type anyway uh that's it for today guys i am duj2 and thanks a lot for watching and i will see you guys tomorrow on tomorrow's pokevlog See ya.